Hi, I'm Michelle Hausman, the Artistic Director of Miami New Drama, and it is my honor to welcome you to the 20th anniversary production of Anna in the Tropics here at the Colony Theater. Hey, welcome to the Colony Theater. Anna in the Tropics was written by Miami native Nilo Cruz. He was born in Matanzas, Cuba, and his family immigrated to Little Havana in Miami, Florida in 1970 on a freedom flight. He studied theater first at Miami-Dade Community College. Later, he moved to New York City. Nilo gained national prominence in 2003 when he won the Pulitzer Prize for Drama for Anna in the Tropics. He also received a Steinberg Award and a Tony Award nomination for this play. Hi, I'm Nilo Cruz, director, playwright, of Anna in the Tropics. It's such an honor to be, be to be back here in Miami and uh, with Anna in the Tropics. It's been 20 years since I wrote the, the piece here in Miami, actually in, in South Dade, um, during a, a, a residency. So, and I haven't seen the piece like in, I don't I, maybe like 10 years. So it's wonderful to be directing it once again, to look at it with new eyes, uh, because I think plays need to be revisited, especially this play, which takes place in South Florida, uh, not so much in Miami, but, but in Tampa. And it has to do with uh, a tradition that was brought here uh, by Cubans uh, in the late 1800s. And that is a beautiful tradition of having a literature uh, be read to the cigar workers in the cigar factories of Tampa, Florida, and also in Key West. Anna in the Tropics takes place in 1929 at a Cuban-American cigar factory in Tampa. Cigars are still rolled by hand, and lectors are hired to educate and entertain the workers. When a new lector enters the scene and begins to read aloud Tolstoy's Anna Karenina, he unwittingly becomes a catalyst in the lives of his avid listeners, and suddenly, the lives of the workers begin to parallel the novel. Old traditions and new ways collide, while longing, love, and betrayal spark a volatile flame that signals the end of an era. Hi, I'm Sandra Santiago, and I play Ophelia, who is the owner of the factory, and my husband, Santiago, is also the owner, and I'm basically the matriarch. Hi, my name is Serafin Falcon. I am playing Santiago. I am the patriarch, father of the family, and owner of the cigar factory. Hi, I'm Daniel Capote. I play Cheche, who is the half-brother to Santiago, the owner of the factory. Hi, my name is Andrea, and I am playing Marela. She's the youngest member of this beautiful family, and she signifies innocence and purity and just a really big joy for life. Hello, I'm Anya Guillen. I play Conchita, and I am the daughter of the cigar factory owners. Hi, my name is Brandon Espinoza. I play Palomo, who is Conchita's husband. Hi, my name is Gabriel Salgado. I am playing Juan Julian, the lector, and I am a lector who's been hired to come read to the cigar workers while they roll in this factory in Ybor City, Tampa. Initially, my character wants to simply spread poetry and love and his passion of reading to the workers and um, following the tradition that has been passed down uh, through his family. Uh, but once he meets Conchita, I believe that he wants to uh, essentially save her in a way. And it doesn't necessarily mean take her away from her current relationship, but I, I believe there's something deeper there and a connection that he's trying to salvage. My character, Cheche, wants to achieve modernity, progress, and advancement as, as the cigar factory moves to the new millennium. My character wants to achieve redemption. My character wants to build his family business, uh, take it to, to, to the next step. My character, Marela, is looking to achieve being seen. She wants to be understood in this family as an adult and taken seriously. My character uh, is trying to uh, kind of salvage his marriage. So he's trying to uh, uh, reignite that and find that um, love again and connection again with his wife. What my character wants to achieve in the play is to be understood, to be heard, and to build an emotional and a spiritual connection. Ophelia uh, 
wants to be a good bu businesswoman. She wants to keep the factory running the way th it used to be. She knows what works for the factory. She knows. And so she basically, she wants to keep everything moving and, 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 and stay in control. And also, uh, she wants to keep the love going between everyone. When you walk into the theater, you'll be able to recognize me when you hear me say, lend me some money, Che Che. But if you forget about me and you'll see what I mean later, you'll be able to recognize me with this gesture right here. You'll be able to identify my character on stage because she does this quite often. <laughs> you'll identify my character because he says a line uh, to kind of symbolize him is, uh, what's the use of talking like this? He's not... Uh, very uh, talkative in regards to his emotions. He's a very closed off um, person. I do have this one gesture that I do maybe a couple of times, maybe three times, and I don't want to give it away where I do it, but it's, it's something uh, I picked up uh, overseas. Um, You'll recognize Conchita because of her mannerisms and there's a beautiful line that she says that everything counts if you have faith. You'll be able to recognize me on stage because I do this. You'll be able to tell who's the lector because I'm the guy with the books. All right, pretty simple. It's a love story. It's a story about the power of art, the power of literature, how literature can change our lives. And especially during these days when so many books are being banned in this country, and in other parts of the world, I, this play does the opposite. This play uh, actually focuses on the importance of literature and how literature can offer possibilities, uh, can offer change in our lives. Literature as a vehicle to, for, uh, for us to um, meditate on our lives or to reflect on our lives. It's an important uh, piece to visit, especially at this moment in time. 20 years ago, I was straight out of college and somebody gave me a copy of Anna in the Tropics. I read it and a whole world opened up for me. It was the first time I saw Hispanic characters at that level of excellence in a play. That same year, the play won the Pulitzer Prize and it made me feel like theater was a field where I belonged. And not just me, Anna in the Tropics has opened doors to countless of artists who've been inspired by the work of Nilo Cruz and found themselves in community at the theater. So with that energy, I welcome you to the 20th anniversary production of Anna in the Tropics. We hope to see you soon at the Colony Theater.